this weekend for the Melbourne Marathon. As you can see behind me is the uh, event expo, so uh, where you pick up your bib, um, any sort of last minute nutrition, etc. I'm um, here to do some work this weekend as well as obviously film some of this YouTube stuff. And so we'll go check it out. see there caught up with uh, Borge and Cat. Cat works for Puma, Borge works for Pillar Performance and uh, he just recently ran the Berlin Marathon so he's given us a bit of a rundown on that race and Cat hooked us up with some uh, Ned's chocolate milk which I haven't tried before and I'm very keen to. So like I was saying earlier it is Melbourne Marathon race weekend. I'm just editing this scene now. I'm not sure what my camera was up to. I'm pretty sure it's still on vacation in Vanuatu, but the autofocus is all over the place, so please ignore that. I was here last year for the Melbourne Marathon. I ran the half marathon last year, and I absolutely love the race. Uh, the vibe of the city is awesome, and, and, and just in general, um, I really love Melbourne, so I'm stoked to be here for the weekend. I managed to book some really cheap flights to get here, and at the time, didn't have much of a plan for the weekend. Uh, my sister actually lives here. I'm staying in her apartment on this couch. Uh, and anyway, I managed to get some work with one of the local run clubs here called Run South Yarra. So this weekend, they're putting on um, a big pop-up space in Cremorne, and they've had a whole bunch of activities going on there through, um, through the week so far. And um, so I'm going to be filming this space in Cremorne as well as... Um, they've got a chair zone up at the Gilson, which is sort of like the top end of the tan, which is about 37 k's of the marathon. Um, and then also just trying to get some shots on course of, of some of their crew running the marathon. So should be a really fun weekend. Um, I'm stoked to be in Melbourne. I've already caught up with um, so many epic people and I've only been here for like 36 hours. Caught up with Katie Kelso from AMPM Run Club, New Balance Runner. She ran London last year. Uh, I caught up with Nima and his partner Shaz, who I ran New York City with him last year. Um, the guys from Tempo Journal, Josh from French, and Dylan as well. Um, Borge, Catherine Newton. It's been an epic 36 hours so far in Melbourne, and it's just going to be better. So now I'm about to go get ready to go for a run. Uh, I've got about 50 or 55 minutes to do. I'm going to go do a lap of the MCG and then do a lap of the TAN and come back. This morning, um, I went to a workout class with my sister called Core Plus. We don't have them in New Zealand, but it was like a hot, um, it was like a hot cardio class. So you sort of did like upper body, lower body weights, lighter weight, and then they would incorporate like some um, some fast sections of uh, cardio, like high knees, mountain climbers, um, that sort of thing. And it was bloody hard. But now we're gonna go run. So I should probably talk about these quickly. So these are the new New Balance 1080 V14, which released yesterday. Um, full disclosure, New Balance sent me these. Thank you, New Balance. Um, but they are, yeah, obviously the new version of the 1080 V14 um, went for my first run in them last night. A couple of things that I've noticed. So I think the biggest issue that people had with the V13 was how soft it was. Not necessarily an issue for me, but definitely something that um, some people didn't like. You sort of, uh, you know, you, the shoe being so soft meant that it lacked stability. First thing I noticed with this is they've definitely firmed up the fresh foam in this version. So um, it's definitely a little bit firmer, but still has a pretty similar ride to the V13. Um, probably slightly more responsive just because it is a little bit firmer like you don't sink into the shoe as much so it's not as kind of um, marshmallowy I guess but um, still obviously soft on the foot and the other biggest thing was they've probably removed what I would call some volume out of the upper so the way that it hugs your foot uh, it sits like a little bit tighter on the top of your foot so you can probably get a better lockdown not that I necessarily had a bad lockdown with the the V13 but um, those are the two things that I've noticed um, so far 
Uh, so yeah, going to wear these now for this 50 minute run and um, get after it. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to say. Don't know what to say. You know? to uh, run south here, shake it around this morning, film some bits and pieces, it's uh, 5.33, that's cool. Big man. How are you bro? Good bro, how are you? Excited. It's a big, big shake out today. Morning, Melbourne Marathon weekend. Woo! Uh, Woo! <laughs> I was fortunate enough to have my Melbourne Marathon experience uh, documented last year. Um, he asked me to come just talk about um, just anything in general in regards to the experience. So upon reflecting on um, last year, um, through watching a video, there were two things that kind of stuck out. Number one, I talked a lot about just the process and everything it took to kind of get to the start line. And then throughout the marathon, um, really just coming back into the moment and taking the next step to the best of my ability. So I started to think, you know, where does that kind of come from? Because I relate that to kind of everything that I do um, in life. And I started thinking about this experience that I had when I was younger with my uncle. Um, unfortunately, my uncle passed away last week and his funeral is tomorrow. So I thought I can kind of, you know, pay tribute to him and hopefully um, impart some of his knowledge um, or wisdom to you all. So um, it's a situation, I'm about 14 years old. Um, for context, there's three Aussies in my family. so. I'm Ozzy, my dad's Ozzy, and my grandfather is Ozzy. With it being three of us, you naturally get nicknames. So my grandfather, he's Big Oz. My dad, he's Little Oz. You would think that I would be like Baby Oz or something like that. Instead, they gave me Lazy Ozzy. So that's kind of who I was at the time. But anyways, my uncle was like, this boy needs to learn how to work. We're putting him to work today. So they were up like working on the roof. And my job was to take things from um, the ground up to the roof, but I had to go up a ladder to do it. Not smart. Um, so I'm looking at all the material. I'm like, shit, it's about to take me all day. So I'm like, all right, I'll double up on the material. That means I cut the trips in half. So I get halfway up the ladder. All I remember was waking up on my back. <laughs> and you know how it is when you do something stupid, your parents or aunts or uncles, first of all, they make sure you're okay. And then they're like, what are you doing? It was, it was just stupid. But he said something um, that has really stuck with me throughout my life. And it was, Ozzy, you need to be more detail oriented. Focus on what you're doing while you're doing it. You can't get from the bottom to the top of anything in one step, but you can get from the top to the bottom in one step. As you're going up the ladder, don't continue to look down, looking back on how far you've come. Don't look up worried about how far you have to go. Just focus on where you're at and then take the very next step. I think it's easy to see how that, you know, not only relates to climbing up a ladder um, or running and life in general. Throughout this weekend, um, there will be times where your mind starts to wonder. Just come back into yourself and take the very next step to the best of your ability. Um, best of luck to everyone this weekend. I think it's important to remember that, you know, running is a sport, which means we get to play it. So play fun, play fast and enjoy it.
Get it, Jack! Get it, Let's go, Reese! Let's go, baby! Great day. How was yours? It was good. It was good. Maybe slightly better than yours because yeah. I, um, I PB. Yeah, when you ran with Jack Raynard, you ran a, yeah. K, yeah. a 1K PB. I ran a 200 meter PB. Yeah. <laughs> no shit.